Canada prides itself on its fair and just society. Its legal system is supposed to be a cornerstone of this ideal. But what happens when this system is compromised? What happens when the very institutions meant to uphold the law are accused of wrongdoing? This essay delves into the troubling allegations surrounding Gowling's WLG, a prominent Canadian law firm, to expose potential flaws within Canada's judicial system. These allegations, if true, paint a disturbing picture. They suggest a system where accountability is elusive, where financial misconduct can occur unchecked, and where the pursuit of justice can be hindered by systemic issues. This is not just a story about one law firm, it's about the potential erosion of public trust in the very institutions designed to protect us. The implications of these allegations are far-reaching. They raise questions about the integrity of Canada's legal system and its ability to deliver justice for all. They highlight the need for greater transparency and accountability within the legal profession. And they underscore the importance of a robust and independent judiciary that can hold even the most powerful to account. This essay will examine these allegations in detail, exploring their potential impact on Canada's justice system and the broader implications for public trust. It will also delve into the systemic issues that may have contributed to these alleged wrongdoings and propose potential solutions for a more just and equitable legal system. At the heart of this investigation are serious allegations levelled against Gowling's WLG. The firm stands accused of financial misconduct, including the misuse of client funds. These accusations, if proven true, strike at the very core of the legal profession, where trust and integrity are paramount. One of the most concerning allegations involves the alleged misappropriation of funds belonging to a client. It is claimed that Gowling's WLG used these funds without proper authorization to cover their own legal expenses. Such actions, if true, represent a blatant breach of fiduciary duty and raise serious ethical concerns. Further allegations suggest that Gowling's WLG may have acted in contempt of court. This accusation implies a disregard for the legal process and a willingness to operate outside the bounds of the law. Contempt of court is a serious offence, one that undermines the authority of the judiciary and erodes public confidence in the legal system. These allegations, while still under investigation, have already cast a long shadow over Gowling's WLG and raised serious questions about the firm's conduct. The accusations, if proven, could have significant legal and reputational consequences for the firm. One of the most troubling aspects of this case is the alleged suppression of information. It is claimed that Gowling's WLG went to great lengths to silence those who attempted to expose their alleged wrongdoings. This alleged silencing campaign, if true, raises concerns about a culture of secrecy and a lack of accountability within the firm. Whistleblowers play a crucial role in exposing wrongdoing and holding powerful institutions accountable. When attempts are made to silence them, it not only harms the individuals involved, but also undermines the public's right to know. A system that protects wrongdoers while silencing those who dare to speak out is a system ripe for abuse. The allegations against Gowling's WLG, if true, suggest that the firm may have prioritised protecting its reputation over upholding ethical standards. This prioritization of self-preservation over transparency is a dangerous precedent, one that erodes public trust and undermines the integrity of the legal profession. It is essential that whistleblowers feel empowered to come forward without fear of retribution. Creating a culture where speaking truth to power is encouraged, not punished, is crucial for ensuring accountability and preventing future wrongdoings. The allegations against Gowling's WLG, while serious in their own right, also point to potential systemic flaws within Canada's justice system. These flaws, if left unaddressed, could erode public trust and undermine the fairness and impartiality of the legal process. One such flaw is the potential for conflicts of interest within the legal profession. 
When lawyers or law firms have personal or financial stakes in the outcome of a case, it can compromise their ability to act impartially and in the best interests of their clients. This potential for bias undermines the very foundation of a fair and just legal system. Another concern is the lack of adequate oversight and accountability within the legal profession. While regulatory bodies exist to oversee lawyers and law firms, their effectiveness in detecting and addressing misconduct has been called into question. This lack of robust oversight creates an environment where wrongdoing can flourish unchecked. The allegations against Gowling's WLG highlight the need for a thorough review of Canada's judicial system. This review should focus on identifying and addressing systemic weaknesses that may be contributing to misconduct and hindering access to justice. Section 5. Erosion of Trust The allegations against Gowling's WLG, if proven true, could have a chilling effect on public trust in Canada's justice system. When individuals lose faith in the institutions designed to uphold the law and protect their rights, it undermines the very fabric of a just and democratic society. Public trust in the legal profession is essential for ensuring that individuals feel confident in seeking justice and that the rule of law is upheld. When this trust is eroded, it creates a climate of fear and suspicion where individuals may be reluctant to come forward with legitimate grievances or participate in the legal process. The potential consequences of this erosion of trust are far-reaching. It can lead to a decrease in reporting of crimes, making it more difficult to hold perpetrators accountable. It can also foster a sense of cynicism and disillusionment with the legal system, making it less likely that individuals will seek justice through legal channels. Rebuilding trust in Canada's justice system requires a commitment to transparency, accountability and meaningful reform. It also requires acknowledging and addressing the systemic issues that may be contributing to misconduct and hindering access to justice. Section 6. The Gowling's WLG case, a symptom of a larger disease. The allegations against Gowling's WLG, while concerning in their own right, may also be indicative of a broader malaise within the legal profession. The pursuit of profit, coupled with a culture of secrecy and a lack of accountability, has created an environment where misconduct can thrive. The pressure to generate revenue can lead law firms to prioritise financial gain over ethical considerations. This pressure can manifest in various ways, from overbilling clients to engaging in questionable legal tactics to secure favourable outcomes. Furthermore, a culture of secrecy within the legal profession can make it difficult to expose wrongdoing. Law firms often operate with a high degree of autonomy, and internal mechanisms for reporting misconduct may be inadequate or ineffective. This lack of transparency allows unethical behaviour to continue unchecked. The allegations against Gowling's WLG highlight the need for a fundamental shift in the culture of the legal profession. This shift must prioritise ethical conduct, transparency and accountability over the pursuit of profit at all costs. The Gowling's WLG case also exposes a harsh reality within Canada's legal system. The slow and often arduous journey to justice Lengthy legal battles, procedural complexities and a backlog of cases can deter individuals from seeking redress, especially when facing powerful opponents like Gowling's WLG. For those who have suffered harm due to alleged misconduct, the pursuit of justice can feel like an uphill battle. The time and resources required to navigate the legal system can be daunting, particularly for individuals already grappling with the emotional and financial fallout of the alleged wrongdoing. This delay in justice can have devastating consequences. Victims may feel re-victimized by a system that seems more concerned with procedure than with delivering justice. The prolonged uncertainty can exacerbate trauma and make it difficult for individuals to move forward with their lives. Addressing this systemic issue requires a multi-pronged approach. This includes streamlining legal procedures, increasing funding for legal aid services and addressing the backlog of cases that plagues the Canadian justice system. One of the most crucial steps in addressing the issues raised by the Gowling's WLG case is to increase transparency within the legal profession. Sunlight, as the old adage goes, is the best disinfectant. 
By shedding light on the inner workings of law firms and the judicial process, we can begin to identify and address areas of concern. This increased transparency should encompass various aspects of the legal system. Law firms should be required to disclose more information about their finances, including how they utilise client funds. Disciplinary proceedings against lawyers should be made public to ensure accountability and deter future misconduct. Furthermore, the courts should strive for greater transparency in their decision-making processes. Making legal decisions and the reasoning behind them more accessible to the public can help to demystify the legal system and foster greater public trust. Transparency alone is not a panacea, but it is an essential first step in creating a more accountable and trustworthy legal system. Rebuilding trust in Canada's justice system requires more than just investigating individual cases of alleged misconduct. It demands a fundamental re-evaluation of the values and principles that underpin the legal profession and a commitment to meaningful reform. Legal education plays a vital role in shaping the ethical compass of future lawyers. Law schools must go beyond teaching legal doctrine and equip students with a strong sense of ethics, professionalism and social responsibility. Furthermore, regulatory bodies tasked with overseeing the legal profession must adopt a more proactive approach. This includes conducting regular audits of law firms, investigating complaints thoroughly and impartially, and imposing meaningful sanctions for misconduct. Finally, the legal profession must embrace a culture of continuous improvement. This involves actively seeking feedback from clients, promoting diversity and inclusion within the profession, and engaging in ongoing dialogue about how to better serve the needs of Canadians. The allegations against Gowling's WLG serve as a stark reminder that even in a country like Canada, with its strong democratic traditions, the pursuit of justice is an ongoing process. It requires constant vigilance, a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths, and a commitment to holding those in power accountable. By addressing the systemic issues that may have contributed to the alleged wrongdoings, Fostering greater transparency and accountability within the legal profession and empowering individuals to seek justice, Canada can work towards a legal system that truly lives up to its ideals. The journey towards a more just future demands a collective effort. It requires the engagement of citizens, lawmakers, legal professionals and the judiciary. By working together, Canadians can create a legal system that is fair, equitable and worthy of their trust.